everybody. How you doing? Hope you're having a fantabulous night. Tonight I'm going to be cutting Paul's hair. As you can see, he needs it. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? Went to church tonight. We had a good night. I cut hair for a long time. I was a licensed cosmetologist. If you guys were wondering what I did, that's one of my professions. That's what maybe you know. I did nails for like five or five or six years. Did hair for a long time. That's Blue walking around, making all that noise. Hey, Blue, you better sit down, buddy. Trying his best to knock that camera around. Yeah. As you can probably already tell, my get away from the tree. As you can tell, my, this channel's not going to be just about eating. It's going to be a little bit of everything. So, I don't want you guys to get bored. And if you do, turn it off. You can always offer some suggestions on what you'd like to see us do. Thanks to Hope for giving us a, a suggestion for what she would like for us to fix and eat on the air. It looks delicious and I can't wait to try it. This actual pair of hair clippers she's using was my dad's and they're probably about 40 years old. He took very well good care of them when he had them. I like to have a dollar for every pair of, or every head that he cut with them. I'd say they've been several thousands of dollars.
Paul has very, very thick hair. As you can tell. <clears throat> it doesn't look too thick where it's getting thin in the front, but it, it's still pretty thick. And it's starting to get heavy where it hadn't been cut in a while either. This is the one challenge that I will not be doing. I will not cut her hair because I don't want to mess it up. No. I don't like just anybody cut my hair. I'm talking to you that. My niece can do her, but she got burned out on it real bad. And she's about the only one that I really like to do my hair. But, oh well. But his cousin last time cut my hair. She did pretty good. I like the way she done it. So. My niece, Tammy's niece, I consider my niece too. She cut my hair many times too. Good one. First time she cut my hair, she was amazed at how thick my hair was and how it rolled off of my skin. See, it reminded her of the way 
how I wrote off of the different type of uh, individuals than what I am. I feel so much better already. Let me lean my head forward. Too far. If you want to, just uh, you can put it on. Just push that thing up and do it. I know what to do. I know you do. Try to pierce his nose. It hurt. I guess it did. Do this. I can't see what you want me to do.
I can't get the earth done. Mm -hmm. Let me go down a little low. That good? Yeah. Okay, do this. I was lucky. He's a blessed man. He wants to pay for haircuts, beard trims, or nothing. Or eyebrows or ears. <coughs> and free nose piercing. I'm giving my nose ring. Here. I'll pass on that. I'm giving my nose bling bling. Guys, remember the signs of ovarian cancer. Bloating. Getting full quickly, very, very, very tired, unusual tiredness, not normal tiredness, fatigue, um, swelling. There are several other signs that you can look up. And men, you get checked out too. Women, you also you get your mammograms and and uh, pap tests and colonoscopies and all that good stuff. Me and you too, your prostate and your family jewels and your colonostomies and the yearly checkups. Well, this concludes tonight. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a wonderful night. God bless you guys. Be a light in the dark world for Jesus. And we will see you tomorrow night. I don't know, we'll do something. We'll see you tomorrow night. God bless you guys. Thanks guys for watching. Peace. Bye-bye.